Number seven, how much heat in joules and in calories is required to heat a 28.4 gram, which is the same thing as one ounce ice cube from negative 23 degrees Celsius to negative one degrees Celsius. Okay. So it looks like they're asking for how much heat is required, right? This is the question, how much heat um, we need to have it in joules and in calories, but they gave us a mass, right? A gram value is a mass. So we have an M here and we have two temperatures, right? We have a initial temperature and a final temp. We're going from negative 23 degrees Celsius to negative one degree Celsius. So basically if they're asking for a heat value and they give you a mass and change in temps, we're dealing with the Q formula, right? The heat that they're asking for is a Q value. So what is the formula for Q and what's the formula for heat? It's this guy right here, right? Q equals MS times Delta T or M times S times Delta T. Delta is the triangle. So anytime that you see a triangle, you won't say triangle T, you'll say Delta T. It's just like in the Greek alphabet. So let's just run through what each one of these means, right? Q is the heat, the heat energy. And when you're using this formula, the Q is always in joules. So we're going to be solving for the joules first, and then we can just convert to calories. The M is the mass, and the mass is always in grams. So they told us that, 28.4 uh, grams, right? The S is the specific heat capacity or the specific heat for short. This number is different for every molecule, every compound and every element, right? You have to find out what you're talking about. And in this case, they told us that we're dealing with an ice cube, right? Now in the question here, they did not tell us a specific heat. They didn't say, you know, this has a specific heat of a number, right? So you have to know what the specific heat is. Now an ice cube, ice is just water, right? It's H2O. However, since it's a ice cube, it is a solid water, right? It's not the liquid water. This is kind of tricky because usually they make you memorize the liquid specific heat value, the 4.184, if you guys know that one. However, since we're dealing with the solid one, it's a different value. So just make sure guys, okay? The specific heat is in joules per gram times Celsius. So whenever you see a number that has these three units, it's always a specific heat value. And then the Delta T, the Delta T is the change in the temperature. Now this case, it's always going to be in Celsius. You do not need to convert to Kelvin here, mainly because in the specific heat, there is a Celsius unit. So that's why Celsius goes with Celsius, no Kelvins here. Um, so yeah, so what is a change in heat, right? A Delta T, the change in heat is always the final temperature, TF minus TI, the initial. So final minus initial. Here are my two temperatures, which one is the final and which one is the initial, right? If I'm going from negative 23 degrees Celsius to a negative one degrees, it seems that the negative 23 is the initial and I'm going to the negative one, so that's the final. So my delta T, I could just calculate it right here. My final temp would be a negative one, right? And if you wanna put the negative 1.0, that's fine too minus a negative 23.0, right? I don't put the units here because I know that both of these has to be in Celsius. So I just put the numbers just so that it's not as confusing. Let's do this math to find out what that Delta T is, right? The change in temp. So negative one minus a negative three, AKA negative one plus 23. So it should be 22. Um, and this is 22, if you want to add the zero, that's fine, just for sig fig reasons. And that's 22 degrees Celsius, the change in heat. Going from this number to this is a 22 degrees difference. 
Now let's use the formula to solve for the heat, the Q. So Q equals M, the mass, they told us that, 28.4. I don't put the units in because I know that it's in grams. So if I know that I have the correct unit, I just plug in the number. The S is the specific heat of the ice cube, which they didn't tell you, but you had to figure that out, right, by looking at a table or going online. In this case, I went to the table in a textbook, and they told me that the specific heat of solid uh, water is 2.093. And then the delta T, which we did over here, the delta T, the change in temp, is the 22 degrees uh, Celsius. So I have my three values. So let's calculate it out. Oh, that's an, that's an ugly Q. Eh, that's, that's a little better, but whatever. <laughs> so 28.4 times 2.093 times 22. With these, don't be afraid if you see a big number. Q values, especially the ones that are in joules, are going to be relatively large. Now, if we're playing the sig fig game, we have the least amount of three sig figs here. So three sig figs in the answer. So I can say either 1,310 degrees, uh, sorry, 1,310 joules. I'm going to put this into scientific notation. So it's 1.31 times 10 to the one, two, three. And that's in joules. So that's my first answer. A lot of heat required to move that temp of that ice cube. Kind of makes sense, right? If you boil water, well, the specific heat of water, uh, liquid water is different, but it's still roughly a large number. Two is pretty large, right? It just takes a long time to either melt an ice cube, right? If it's just chilling, you know, in, in room temp or boil water because the specific heat of water is so high. Now let's just convert this into calories. So I have 1.31 times 10 to the third joules. Remember, whenever we're converting, we just multiply by a ratio. The unit that we don't want, in this case joules, goes on the opposite side, so that's the bottom. And the calories is the top number. Here is the conversion here. You guys might have to memorize it one calorie for every 4.184 joules, right? They're equivalent, they're just two different units. So one calorie equals 4.184 joules. The unit joules cancels. We're left with calories, so that's the answer. I just have to divide. The 4.184 is in the denominator, so denominator divide, DD. 1.31 times 10 to the third, divided by 4.184. And we get 313, 313 calories. This one I won't put in uh, scientific notation. Or you could say 3.13 times 10 to the second. Doesn't matter to me. But these are the two answers. So this is the amount of heat needed uh, in joules, and this is the amount of heat needed in calories to uh, bring this ice cube from negative 23 to Celsius to negative one. So a lot of heat is required to do that. That's it, guys. Hopefully this helped. Memorize this equation and just memorize the specific units that they need to be in. Okay, that's going to make it much easier for you guys. Let me know in the comments if this helped. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you like to, but if not, that's okay too. Still love you guys. Still want to help you out. Um, but yeah, if you can, that's that would be awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, see you in the next lesson. Keep studying hard. You got this. All right, bye.